What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Scooter video. My name is Chase Ross and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to drop in. jump right into this. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to drop in. So there's a couple tips that's going to really help you guys get better at dropping in, be a lot more comfortable with it. So first we're going to start off with put a helmet on. Always wear a helmet. There's no reason you guys shouldn't have a helmet on. I stress this in every tutorial I make. Number one tip, wear a helmet. It's going to make it's going to pay off in the long run, trust me. Now let's jump into number two. So for starters, we're going to make sure that we're actually comfortable on our scooter. If we're not comfortable on our scooter in just everyday control, Dropping in is not going to be an easy task. So make sure you guys get comfortable on your scooter. Maybe lay some cones in your driveway and just do the basic man maneuvers and stuff and just get, get the balance down. If you can just stand on your scooter like this for a little bit and make sure you're balanced, you're going to be much better off when it comes to actually dropping into the quarter pipe for the first time. Now, let's go ahead and move on to step number three. You guys are going to have to learn how to pump. Pumping is a huge part to learning how to drop in because once you drop in, you're going to have to know what to do with all that energy from the ramp. So you're going to have to learn how to pump and use your legs and go down the ramp. If only I knew someone who made a tutorial on how to pump, maybe that card up there can help you guys. All right, now that we got the basics out of the way and you guys got that pumping down, now let's work on the fundamentals of actually learning how to drop in. So for starters, we're gonna need a quarter pipe. For me personally, I have a nice three foot quarter pipe right here and it has coping. So coping is gonna be a big deal. For a lot of you guys, if your scooter deck lands on the coping, it has the potential of sliding out. So that's one of the scariest things when it comes to dropping in. But with these tips in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to conquer that fear of having the deck slip out from under you, and you're gonna be able to drop in like it's nothing. And the coping's not gonna phase you at all. But for starters, I wanna make sure you guys get comfortable with the quarter pipe. So we're gonna set the scooter to the side. Oops. So we're gonna set the scooter to the side. And now we're gonna drop in without the scooter. Now it might sound goofy, you're like, why, why are you dropping in without your scooter? But trust me, the more comfortable you can get with the quarter pipe, just by running down and making sure you're comfortable with it, the better off you're gonna be at actually dropping in for the first time. So let's do this a couple times. So we're gonna come up here. Maybe you can even pretend you got a scooter in hand. You're gonna jump in and just run down. Now doing that is actually gonna give you guys the idea in your head of how it's gonna work when you actually are on top of the quarter pipe, leaning your body weight into the quarter pipe, and then moving down the ramp. Now, of course, you're gonna be on wheels, so it's gonna move a lot differently, but that's just the starter point. All right, now that we're comfortable running down the quarter pipe, let's go ahead and grab our scooter and actually look like we're about to drop in. All right, we got our scooter now, and we're looking at the quarter pipe, and if you're starting off, it's gonna look a little scary, especially when you're up here. When you look down, it's gonna look like really scary at first, and that's okay. It is, it's scary for most people. So when you're right here, and you actually get to the top, we're actually not gonna drop in yet. Let's go back down to the bottom of the floor. All right, we're back down to the base of the, of the ramp. And now what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to get up as far as we can on the actual ramp, like this, and then hop on. This is a super simple way to get yourself comfortable with the quarter pipe. So once you learn how to pump, and then you get comfortable with doing this, getting up as high as you can, and then jumping on your scooter and actually rolling, it's gonna make this whole entire dropping process a lot easier. So this is pretty simple. It shouldn't take too long to get comfortable pumping and it shouldn't definitely not take too long getting comfortable rolling on the ramp right here. So just do a few of these, get up as high as you possibly can, and then hop on and roll down. Now this is gonna be the part that scares most people, but trust me, after following these steps, it's not gonna be that bad. And when you're standing up here, you're not gonna be as scared after you know these tips. So for starters, we wanna make sure that we have our deck completely flat on the coping. Do not drop in with your scooter deck leaning either way. This is the main cause that causes a lot of scooter riders to fall on the first go because they have their deck to the side, it slips out on the way in and it scares the heck out of them. So we're not gonna do that. We're gonna avoid that at all costs. We're gonna keep our deck completely flat on the coping, make sure we're not leaning too far one way or the other, keep our body completely centered and that's gonna be the great starting point that we're gonna start with. Now, what we wanna focus on is foot position and where our deck's gonna be actually on the coping. So for right now, we're gonna focus on a drop in with one foot on and one foot off. We're gonna have the scooter deck halfway on the coping, so our, our front wheel's gonna be over the coping like this and our back wheel's gonna be on the back part of the, on the, uh, the ramp. 
Now that we're like this, we don't. We want to make sure that we don't have our front wheel too close to the coping or our back wheel too close to the coping. We want to be perfectly centered in between and combine that with the no, no rocking one way or another and staying balanced in the center. Now we're good. All right, now that we got our front foot on the deck and our back foot to the side of the scooter deck, what we're going to do now is we're actually going to try to rock in. Now this is going to be the scariest part. To get your body to actually rock in from this part, it's going to be the hardest thing to do. But once you do it, it gets easier and easier each time you do it. So what I always did when I was first learning it to get myself to do it was I always tell myself, all right, we're going to count to three and we're just going to go for it. Now, before we actually go for it, what we're going to be doing with this leg that's off to the side, it doesn't matter which leg is off to the side. You could have it like this or you could have it like this. So for goofy or regular, it doesn't matter. Just as long as you have one foot off to the side, you're good to go. But what we're going to do right here with this one foot is we're going to use this as a tripod leg. So it's going to be dragging behind us the entire way. So it's going to make a triangle. So we have wheel, back wheel, side foot. And it's going to make a triangle for us. So when we go down, we're not going to be able to fall. We're just going to go down just like this. Once you finally get yourself to drop in like that, you're going to feel completely relieved. That's really the hardest part to learn how to drop in right there. Just getting that first initial drop in, leaning forward, going all the way in, committing to it. And then once you do that, it's really pretty, pretty fast learning from then on. But let's go ahead and focus on a couple steps to actually get you to drop in over the coping right now. So like I said before, we're gonna have that one foot off to the side, we're gonna be a complete stabilizer. We can put a little bit of pressure on it, not too much. We wanna just drag it next to us. We don't wanna actually put so much pressure on it that it completely stops us from moving because that's gonna throw you off center. So just use it, kind of slightly drag it, push a little bit on it, but not too much just to where you're, you're dragging it with you as you go. So we're right here on the coping right now. We're about to drop in for the very first time. We're gonna to start to lean in. We're gonna throw our head over the bars and our booty's gonna be back here behind the bars just to kind of counterbalance and weight us out. Now when we start to actually lean in, we're gonna to start to teeter-totter and we're gonna push down on our toes and we're gonna shift our head further into the coping. Now, once we get into the coping, the most important thing to worry about is staying straight. You do not wanna steer off to the side one way or the other. Like I said before, keep your deck straight and parallel and flat on that coping. You wanna make sure that you're actually gonna go straight into the quarter pipe. Once you start going straight, the next big thing is going to be bonking your back wheel on the coping right here. This is a big fear for a lot of riders. So what we're gonna do right here to avoid bonking our back wheel is once our front wheel hits the quarter pipe and goes in, you're gonna slightly, just barely lift that back wheel just a little bit. Now, if you actually case on the way in and your back wheel goes boom, do not freak out. You do not wanna to lean too far forward or too far back. Do lean to the extremes, will cause you to fall. So just stay neut neutral and relaxed and let it just go. So we're gonna intentionally right now show you a case so you guys know what it's like and you're not gonna freak out when you actually do it. So we're gonna lean in and we're gonna snag. And you see right there, I stayed completely neutral, stayed easy, didn't freak out, and I kept going straight. All you gotta do is just keep going straight. As long as you go straight, you won't fly off to one side or the other and you're just gonna ride down. Now that was a successful drop in minus the case, but that's all right. If you guys did it on your first one, don't be freaked out. Get back up there, do it again. And now that we're back up here, we're gonna drop in just like before, we're gonna lift that and then we're gonna go right in. One more quick thing I wanna add while you guys are learning how to drop in with the one foot off the scooter and one foot on the scooter, sometimes it's a mental thing. And having your foot on top of the coping right here can get you. So try to rest on your heel right here, put it on the edge of the coping and use that kind of like a drop in. And you're gonna teeter in like that. That was just a quick tip to get you guys maybe a little bit more comfortable with actually getting into the ramp. But now you guys hopefully are comfortable with dropping in with one foot on the deck and one foot off the scooter deck. That's going to be the hugest part to learn how to drop in. And once you guys get that down, the rest is easy. The rest is so much easier. So now what we're going to do right now is we're going to focus on dropping in with both feet on the scooter. Now you guys are probably like, holy cow, that's a big step up, keeping both feet on the scooter. But trust me, it's not that much of a bigger step up. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna focus on the exact same things we were just working on, which was staying balanced, staying straight, not leaning too heavy to one side or the other, and keeping our deck completely flat on the coping. Those are the keys to getting this drop in with both feet on. Now all you gotta do from here on, keep that foot instead of on the side, keep it right in the back right here, ready to go. You're gonna throw your head forward just like before. You're gonna lean in, teeter-totter over, and drop in. Now that's almost identical to the other drop-in where you have one foot off and one foot on. It might feel a little different, so you're probably gonna be like, Ugh, I don't know if I wanna do it. But once you get that first one out of the way, it becomes so much easier. Now for this, when you're actually dropping in, 
Again, you want to keep your scooter deck completely neutral, about 50-50 on that coping. So when you teeter-totter in, it's a little bit easier. But a quick cheat right here you guys can use to get, make sure you're comfortable on the actual scooter deck is you can use your heel. So your scooter deck's half on, your foot is half on the deck, and then your heel is resting on the coping over here. So that's going to be a nice little, little like kind of like a, a comfort if you guys if you guys want to use some comfort right here when you actually drop in. So now what we're going to do, we're going to use that heel just for some comfort right now. We're going to teeter-totter in, throw our head forward. Now again, when our front wheel hits the actual ramp, our back wheel is going to lift slightly to make it over that coping, and then we're going to pump down, and the rest is history. All right, hopefully by now you guys are looking good. You're dropping in with both feet, but now you guys are probably wondering, how do you drop in? Roll. And it's really not that much harder, if I'm being honest. Really all you're doing is combining all the steps that we just talked about with getting into the ramp, but now doing it while rolling. I want to add one quick thing that you guys should try before actually rolling into the quarterback for the first time. So what you're going to want to do right here is uh, just like when we were doing when we had our both feet on and we were dropping in just like this, I want you guys to try to do this. We're going to just go straight back, come up for the quarter pipe, roll slow, get our front wheel over without touching the ground, now drop in. This is going to help you guys when it actually comes to rolling into the quarter pipe and getting comfortable to dropping in while rolling instead of just full on dead stop. So we're going to do that one more time. We're just going to come up, we're going to roll, slide, and go in. Now let's talk about a couple of different ways we can roll into the quarter pipe. So for starters, what we can do is we can roll straight in. Now the straight in rolling is going to be much like when you dropped in with both feet right here and just went straight in. So that's not a bad idea right there is just to go straight in like that. But an actual easier way is to go at about a 45 degree angle right here, give yourself one nice push, and then when you drop in, it's actually not as steep. Because if you think about it, when you go straight in like this, you have to drop in, your front wheel has to go all the way down to the quarter pipe, which is down there. You go sideways, and all you have to do is lift in, and then you're actually only touching the quarter pipe right there. So it's a lot easier to drop in from a slight angle. Now, at first, it's going to seem scary to drop in at an angle because the whole entire time of this tutorial we've been talking about staying straight and not turning at all, and that's okay. If you guys want to start out by dropping in straight on, that's totally fine. Would definitely recommend getting comfortable with the quarterback doing that. But now, you're going to step up your game a little bit. You guys want to get some speed going into that quarter pipe. We're going to go at a slight angle right here. We're going to give ourselves one nice push, lift up on that front wheel, hop into the ramp, and go down. There's only a few major key different steps when it comes to actually rolling while dropping in and we're going to talk about those right now. So for starters, we want to make sure that we have enough speed. So I would say at least one push is enough speed to get into a quarter pipe comfortably. If you're going too slow like this, it's going to be a lot harder, especially when you're beginning because it's a lot harder to find that balance point, that back wheel to make sure you can get into the ramp. So the faster you go, it might sound scary, but honestly the faster you go into the ramp, the easier it is because the easier it is to not have to stay balanced for longer. So what we're gonna do right here is I'm gonna show you guys a really slow drop in versus a really fast drop in. The really fast drop in is actually a lot easier. Now if you guys saw when I do the really slow drop in, I have to lift my front wheel a little bit longer and stay balanced while I'm about to go in just a pinch longer, which can scare a lot of people and that's totally understandable. So what I would recommend is getting that one push that will be enough speed to get one big solid push to get into the quarter pipe. Now, if you guys have ever jumped off a ledge, this is going to be a very similar idea. What we're going to do when we get up to the quarter pipe, when we're about six inches away, we're going to lift that front wheel. Now that we've lifted the front wheel, we're going to kind of manual into the quarter pipe. And as soon as our front wheel gets over the quarter pipe coping, what we're going to do now is we're going to push straight down. So just like we were doing before when we dropped in, we were dropping in, we were going in straight leaning forward, throwing our head into the quarter pipe and committing to it. Same deal is gonna be applied right here. We're gonna roll forward, lift up on that front wheel. As soon as we get over the coping, push down and go straight into the quarter pipe. Now, if you guys case on the ramp, it's okay. Do not freak out just like before when you dropped in with one foot on and one foot off and you case, it's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. Don't freak out and be like, oh my gosh, I'm going over. All you have to do, stay loose, absorb it. I'm going to show you guys right now a really nice case on a drop-in. You guys can see it's really not a big deal at all. So what you got to do is just stay loose, 
you're gonna be good and then drop in now the more drop-ins you do the the better off you're gonna be so this example I'm using a three foot quarter pipe so it's it's on the easier side so that's good you guys are gonna want to start out with a three foot quarter pipe or lower I would not recommend doing this on a six foot quarter pipe five foots pushing it and four foots maybe a little bit too tall so I'm definitely a three foot or under and preferably if you guys can find one without coping that would be ideal if you guys can do it even on a bank this same rules apply if the bank's steep enough you're gonna go down straight just like here like we're just we're talking about and then you guys can work up from the bank to a small quarter pipe to a quarter pipe with coping to a three four three to four foot quarter pipe and then all the way you're gonna be working up to vert ramps which same rules apply you're gonna drop in the exact same way but for the steeper the ramp is the more of an angle you're gonna want to approach it at so that way you can actually make your way into the ramp and have a good day and not you know go straight to flat it's never fun so right there is going to wrap up my tutorial on how to drop in. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I've had a lot of you guys DMing me, commenting in all my videos, asking me to make a drop in video. And honestly, I don't know why it took me so long because realistically learn how to drop in should be learned right around the same time that you guys learn bunny hops, pumping, and tail whips. So I should have made this video a long, long while ago, but that's okay. I made it now on my channel you guys can go back and watch those other videos if you guys are just now starting out so hopefully you guys find all my other tutorials helpful as well as this how to drop in tutorial so if you guys have a new tutorial that you guys want me to focus on in this next video make sure to drop it down in the comments and let me know i will be working on more tutorials like this in the future until the next video i'll catch you guys later